You know, I never thought I would uh, ever make a video like this for a company, especially a company of this caliber that's from my childhood, that's brought me a lot of joy over the years as I've grown up. You know, I've seen their, you know, their success, I've seen their lows, and I've just seen their damn right just terrible times. This, unfortunately, is one of those times where it's just not the greatest. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ryan, the professional here. <sighs> Let's uh, get into this, man. So Capcom Vancouver is laying off 30% of the studio and a developer of Dead Rising, his uh, project has been canceled and another has uh, scope reduced. So Capcom, this should be no surprise to anybody that Capcom is turned into one of the shadiest companies out there. And it's sad because Capcom still has what it takes to create good games. They know how to create good games. The problem is with Capcom, they don't give us the games that we want. I can't tell you how many times people have asked for a Mega Man game and instead of giving us a Mega Man game and actually, you know, giving them the opportunity to make profit again, they give you something that you don't want. Now, I've already accepted this because, you know, the whole EVO tournament and all that jazz, so I, I've already accepted the fact that we'll always get a Street Fighter. I'm not saying Street Fighter is trash or anything like that or Street Fighter needs to stop. No, Street Fighter has a massive following and, you know, it's one of their main things that, that they they bring out you know year on year for you know sales because you know it's one of those games that just uh, has a lot of appeal to it so okay okay cool you know uh, Street Fighter is good but when you have so many other IPs that you know for a fact can bring you out of debt when you have so many games that have so much more lore to them it makes me sick that you can't give me nothing else it really does Mega Man alone can bring Capcom out of the debt. It really could. And bring them back, you know, to the people's good graces. Dino Crisis. Let me tell you something. If Capcom ever got on Sony stage and said that, yes, Dino Crisis is back, remastered, I would immediately pre-order it. If they came out with a console for it, I'll probably get the console for it. That's how big of a fan I am for Dino Crisis. Unfortunately, Capcom does not, you know, does that sort of thing. They believe in nickel and diming the consumer. And I'm not okay with that. I'm not. You see, Dead Rising, right? Everybody knows Di Dead Rising, the, the um, latest one. Um, when you beat the game, it kind of just ends on a cliffhanger. But if you get the DLC, you pretty much get the true ending, which is ridiculous. Yes, right. They're charging you for endings now. Capcom has done a lot of shady stuff. You know, that's led them here. And the fact that they're, you know, they're looked at this bad in the public's eye is not the, you know, it's not the public's fault. It's actually Capcom's. Everything Capcom has done is just put themselves in that situation. Now, again, you might not agree with I, well, what I have to say on this. I understand. It's understandable. You don't have to agree at all. I'm not saying you have to agree with anything I say. I'm just being real with you. You know, Capcom just put themselves in that bad situation. And Capcom continues to this day to ignore the very things that sell. You know, so many things Capcom could be making to make money, they don't refuse, they refuse to do it. There's so many games out there they own. Virtual Fighter. You know, back when I was a kid, you know, I used to always go to the arcades to play Virtual Fighter. I used to always go to get House of the Dead. How come we don't have a House of the Dead remaster? How come we don't have a Time Crisis remaster or something like that from Capcom? I'll tell you why. Because Capcom has become lazy. And a lot of people might say, well, they have limited resources. Whose fault is that, guys? It's not our fault. It's their fault. It's their fault for, you know, making, you know, well, for implementing sh uh, shady practices and not improving their games. You want to know the epitome of a shady practice? Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I know a lot of you guys saw that trailer. A lot of you were like, eh, okay, I'll check it out. And you get the game and you realize it's a joke. First of all, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite was clearly made just to get a piece of the Marvel Cinematic Universe hype. That's all it was. Nothing else. It wasn't built with any characters, you know, in mind that you would, uh, you know, that you're normally accustomed to. The X-Men weren't in the game, and they had the nerve to say that, oh, you know, people won't miss the X-Men, you know, because the X-Men wasn't that big part of the of the uh, universe. Remember that? Remember that? So, I mean, hey. And they tried this other stuff. No, instead they wanted to push the movies. Most of the characters that got the spotlight for that game were all in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And they all got, you know, that type of, uh, you know, that spotlight. And that's what they did. That's exactly what they did. It's sad but true, but Capcom, man, they just, I don't understand them. I really don't understand Capcom. You have so many IPs where you can improve your company. So many IPs. So many that I can't even think of right now because there's a lot of games they have. You know? 
so many and you can't give me something good all you can do is give me street fighter again i'm not knocking street fighter because street fighter has a following you know that's understandable but i'm saying can you give me something else aside from street fighter can you can you give me something else aside from resident evil there's more games that you have that can make money and bring you out the the shame that or the shape that you're in I remember I said this numerous times back when, uh, you know, there was a lot of people and, and analysts saying that should Sony pick up Capcom? I believe so. Sony should pick up Capcom. We need new leadership. If Sony gets their hands on Capcom, say hello to a bunch of new games that we haven't seen in years. Watch those games come back. Hell, maybe even Microsoft would do so. Maybe Microsoft would see fit to do that if they bought Capcom. Honestly, I, I wouldn't care if either one got them. Why? Because we need new, ma new management. We need new management for Capcom. Capcom has become a joke. Every single time they come out with something, people cringe half the time because it's not as good as what we thought it was going to be. Sad but true. You know? When I bought Marvel... Well, I didn't buy it, but when I played, I'm sorry, the demo for Marvel's Capcom Infinite, I was expecting a nice little installment in the series, right? No, instead I got an over-glorified Marvel Cinematic Universe game that had the same finishers of other characters, you know, copied and pasted, and everything else is just a joke. I don't want that. I don't want Capcom to be like that. But unfortunately, Capcom has been like that. You know, Capcom likes to push Resident Evil. Capcom has milked Resident Evil to the point where we don't even care about new Resident Evils. Instead, we would rather have remakes of the previous older ones. And again, they even messed that up. I know you guys remember when they said, oh yeah, we're bringing back Resident Evil 6, 5, and 4 to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Remember that? They said they were going to remaster them. What did they do? They remastered 5 and 6, right? They got remasters, the main ones that we didn't care about. But as soon as 4 hit the market, we realized that it was just a port from the PS3 and 360 era. That's what I'm talking about with Capcom. Capcom, just, it's lazy. They're a joke. They don't show no passion to, to anything they do anymore. And this is why they're in this situation. And this is why a lot of people don't care. A lot of people wish doom and gloom for Capcom, and I don't blame them. I don't blame them. Capcom has all the talent in the world, and they have all the resources in the world. In the world, but they don't do. They don't use it. They don't use them. They don't do anything right with them. You know, they don't. They don't do anything right with those resources. Instead, they just copy and paste and milk the same tired thing until it has no more flair to it, and then you no longer interested. What they did to Resident Evil still to this day haunts me, because Resident Evil was so amazing. But, you know, hey, they're hyping on Resident Evil 2 Remake. But, again, still, aside from Resident Evil 2 Remake and all that jazz, going from 4 to 5 and 6 and all that jazz, none of us cared about Resident Evil. None of us did. After 4, we all lost our love for Resident Evil for the most part because Resident Evil became a joke. It was all copied and paste. They kept changing it, the mechanics of it. It even lost its core essence. Resident Evil, back when we were kids, it was about fear. It was about you being surrounded by stuff that you... You know, you can't avoid half the time, right? It was about that. And unfortunately, Resident Evil, you know, is not in that shape anymore. Resident Evil suffers from identity crisis right here. Or identity, yeah, identity crisis right there. It doesn't know where it is. You know, Resident Evil was never an action-packed game. Now, Resident Evil 4 is one of my all-time favorites because I love the perfect blend of horror and action. I think all of us did. Resident Evil 4 actually had good, you know, direction and, and a good story behind it. Good characters. So, of course, that was going to flow well. But when you take that same type of formula and you just copy and paste it, right? And you don't even put anything good that made, you know, that made number four one of the best in the series. If you don't do that thing, then guess what? You're going to have a very stale game. And that's what Capcom has done. So, they done. So, <laughs> that's how I feel on this subject, man. I don't really, I don't understand it. I really don't. All the games Capcom has at their disposal, and they don't even use them. You know, it kind of reminded me of, uh, what's his name? Actually, no. Actually, no. I can't even say that. I can't even say that. No. I can't even say that because they, they never were exclusive. But <clears throat> the best way to describe this is kind of how uh, Sony's treating Ape Escape, right? I know how Sony likes to bring back older games, and they are like Medieval, but one particular game that would definitely bring them a lot more profit aside from Medieval is Ape Escape. If Sony brought back Ape Escape, I guarantee you people would have jumped up out of their seats and picked up Ape Escape. Just like Capcom, people would have jumped out their seats when it came to Mega Man, Dino Crisis, whatever. Fatal Fury. You know what I'm saying? So many games Capcom has at their disposal, and they can't even 
stay true to that. They can't even give you something that's worth buying. They can't do that. Instead, they can just copy and paste the same, same tired games over and over and over. And then, uh, you know, sit there and act like, oh, well, I want you guys to feel sorry for us because, you know, we're not, uh, you know, we have to lay off 30% of our studio. Capcom, you did that to yourself. You did that to yourselves. You did it to yourselves. Trying to be EA with, with bullshit uh, microtransactions and business policies, you did that to yourselves. And there's only one person to blame, Capcom, and that's you. And I have no sympathy for you. I don't. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs down if you did not. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. It's in the description below. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. But Capcom, man, Capcom, I love you, man. I really do. But I can't, I'm not going to sit back here and watch, you know, my childhood, which is you, you know, take advantage of us, the consumer. I can't, I can't deal with that. Not in 2018. Not anymore. You guys have a good one. Deuces.